I've seen people play a lot of sports in China. Basketball, badminton, ping pong, soccer, but never have I seen American football. I just want to put this out there in the first 30 seconds of this video that I know nothing about football. So if you came here to learn anything about football, you're in the wrong place. If you want to see football in China, and I don't mean soccer, I mean American football, then this is definitely the video for you. So today I've come to an American style football game here in Tianjin. Never even knew this existed in the seven years that I have been living in China, but I am excited to take you along with me today. Hey everybody, it's John Thomas. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is a, a different one for me. I know nothing about football. So if you came here to learn anything about football, you're in the wrong place. If you want to see football in China, and I don't mean soccer, I mean American football, then this is definitely the video for you. But don't expect any commentary. I don't know any players' names. Uh, anywhere, I'm not a sports person. So just want to make sure that everybody's aware of that. Okay, okay. Gotta clear off the pad. The game I'm attending is called a derby game. This game happens once a month with different teams. This is two local teams, but apparently this also happens with teams that are not local. There were so many similarities with the games here. The cheerleaders. The energy is incredible, you can feel it. I also saw a lot of huddles. They would even yell out, huddle, 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 as well as the equipment. Football helmets, uniforms, felt very similar. There were some differences, however. One, this giant drum. <laughs> also, the field goal. You don't really have field goal posts here. Also, the size of the field was only 50 yards versus 100 yards that you would get in the US. I'm not a football expert, but I did use Google for that one. Also, this felt a little bit different. I don't think I've ever seen this strategy in American football, but I don't watch games a lot. Does that happen often in games in the US? I'm not sure. Very, very interesting. Oh my gosh, the energy at this game is incredible. It is so flippin' hot. I think it's now at 107 or 108 degrees. I had to put on my hat. I don't know which team I'm rooting for. There's the white team and the brown team. I don't know which team my friend is on. So people are telling me he's on the brown team. But I'm not sure. So we'll have to find out, maybe at halftime. They also have like a VIP lounge upstairs where you can kind of hang out in the shade. And they also have like a snack shop where you can get drinks and some food. So I'm gonna try to partake in all of it while I'm here today. It is way more hot up here than it is outside. I want to put it out there that I do understand this is amateur football and not professional. I know someone out there will comment that. 
and that I know this field is also used for other sports. It looks like soccer is also played here. Does anyone know, are there American style football fields in China? I don't know if I've ever seen one. They must be dying in the uniform. It is so hot. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. It is so hot out there. This feels nice and air conditioned. It's a huge snack shop. So I would imagine that people buy here for the apartments that are also around here. Um, but lots of drinks, lots of chips and snacks and nuts and uh, chocolate cakes. Also, it's like right up against the field. So you can see even more people. So I have just left the game at halftime. I'm dying of the heat. I'm burning up. Like I think I'm like wearing so much sunscreen, but it's not helping. So I thought that I would take a Didi over here to Aochang, which is kind of like a bar restaurant area with shops and get a nice cold Stella beer, uh, maybe a little bit of food to continue to enjoy this day. Uh, they did have beer at the game, but it's warm. Uh, China, in China, beer is warm. It's, you can find it cold, obviously, but there it was warm, sitting out, and that didn't sound very refreshing. So I feel like beer and football go side by side, so I need to have a nice big glass beer. Pint. Glass sounds like the wrong word. Pint. So thanks for inviting me to the game yesterday. Uh -huh. Did you win or lose? Uh, I'm lost. Oh <laughs> no! This is my first game, but uh, I will enjoy it and create uh, it. And how do you feel today? Very tired, very sore. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. I've never seen that many people watching like American or playing American style football. Does that happen a lot or no? No, not so many people in China, no. Yeah. But maybe later will be more, much people play it. I think so too. Mm -hmm. Well, I, it was so fun. Thank you so much for inviting me. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, okay. see you. Bye bye.